Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Funny man John Krasinski shocked audiences with A Quiet Place. Now he and wife Emily Blunt are back for another adrenaline ride with A Quiet Place Part 2. It's now in theaters and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Emily Blunt's Evelyn Abbott knows their family compound is no longer safe from the alien creatures that hunt by sound. Now, despite having just given birth, she, along with her new baby, son Marcus, played by Noah Jupe, and daughter Reagan, played by Millicent Simmons, venture out hoping to find new supplies and shelter. Their journey leads them to a family friend's underground bunker, but it's Reagan who believes she's found a way to stop these monsters once and for all. The film also stars Killian Murphy and Jaimoon Hunsu. A Quiet Place Part 2 is once again written and directed by John Krasinski. His opening sequence takes place back on day one when the terror all began. It's a completely unnerving beginning, setting us one of America's most beloved pastimes, a game of baseball. Krasinski and cinematographer Pauly Morgan thrust the audience right back into the driver's seat as you feel like you're right in the thick of the chaos. The whole film is shot impeccably well, which makes the tension all the more unsettling. I was brought right back to that uneasy feeling knowing that any sound from crinkling leaves to full throttle screams would summon the aliens whose speed and force cannot be matched. Now, horror sequels are especially tricky when the terror comes from a really original and specific place. Krasinski keeps A Quiet Place Part II a direct continuation of the story, picking up right where the first film left off, and manages not to treat this as a blatant rehash of the first film. The stakes are a lot higher for the Abbott family after the loss of a loved one, and we come to see how the game of survival affects humans very differently. This idea is equally as terrifying as these large alien creatures. Krasinski examines what kind of people we become in the name of survival, as we witness a family unit come together, but we also see other characters act out of desperation, selfishness, and greed. Krasinski makes the bold choice that of making young deaf actress Millicent Simmons as daughter Reagan the brave hero of our story over the, you know, the expected choice of Emily Blunt. Simmons lives up to the challenge, provide, proving that she is a young actress on the rise. Emily Blunt is equally captivating, giving Evelyn this worn down and exhausted demeanor, but one that will keep fighting every step of the way for her children. It would be great to see Simmons and Blunt really recognize come award season and to showcase how horror performances can be just as strong and emotionally rich as your traditional drama or period piece. Krasinski has trained his audience to be on edge, teeing us up at certain moments, only to pivot and then pull the rug right out from under us when we least expect it. Get ready to quietly eat your popcorn and muffle your screams with A Quiet Place Part 2. I'm giving it 4 out of 5 ticket stops. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel to get some other movie reviews, as well as my appearances on Twin Cities Live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of A Quiet Place Part 2. Go to the theaters and go check this out. Thank you so much. This is Paul's trip to the movies.